Hello guys welcome to my channel IT Drop and today we are going to talk about Prometheus. So today we are going to install Prometheus and run it on a customized URL. So let's download Prometheus from Google. So this is what you get when you search Prometheus on the Google. We are not going to watch movie today so let's search right to Yep, this is the right one. So let's go on its official website. So you can see that Prometheus.io is the official website and now we are going to its uh, home page. So you can see this is the home page and if I scroll down, uh, you can see it's a cloud native foundation graduated project and you can also see some of the users that are using this uh, Prometheus. So you can see we have DigitalOcean, Docker, Grafana like users. You can explore more but today we are going to install so I am going to download page and uh, I am going to download Prometheus for Windows and you can see we have latest release here 2.19 and the third one is for Windows. So we are going to download this zip. As you can see it's uh, downloading and it uh, can take time according to the internet connection so while it's downloading we can see the documentation of the Prometheus. So you can go through the documentation. This is the introduction to the Prometheus and uh, when you are going to scroll down you can see uh, the Prometheus architecture and how Prometheus is using with other ecosystem. So you can see uh, they have great uh, documentation and they also categorize it in different uh, areas like uh, you can go to concept instrumentation, visualization, alerting and etc. Let's go to Prometheus and uh, check the installation. So you can see they have uh, documentation with Docker also. So if you are working with Docker, you can uh, use this documentation to install Prometheus on Docker environment. And these are some more tools which work with Prometheus. So if I go to configurations, uh, you can see uh, the configuration page and uh, here are all the configuration that you want to know for uh, Prometheus. Uh, we are going to uh, use uh, uh, Prometheus.yml file for configuration in Windows. So as you can see we are almost done with our download and now let's go to the download folder and extract the Prometheus. So we successfully extracted the files and these are the files uh, and this is the exe and this is the configuration file. So let's see what is in the configuration file. So this is the default configuration and you can configure this file with your requirement and uh, you can see we have uh, Prometheus application already here so it is going to uh, scrap its own matrix so you can configure various job here one job is already there that is Prometheus and its target uh, uh, URL is uh, local host 9090 where it is hosted once we start the server so double click on the exe file to start server it will take some time and uh, you can see a screen yeah this one and uh, you can see the server is started and uh, it is uh, hosted on 9090 and uh, the configuration file is here yeah, prometheus.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
Wait a minute. And address is localhost 1990. Let's check this on browser that it is working or not. So you can see that uh, on localhost 1990 we are uh, getting the home page of promises and let's go to the targets and you can see here that promises uh, monitoring itself so as you know our uh, promises is uh, uh, hosted on localhost 1990 and uh, it automatically uh, go to the graph page when we uh, use this URL but uh, what if we want to change it and uh, want that it uh, open when we type slash Prometheus so right now if I go to Prometheus URL it will show me 404 page not found let's see how we can customize this URL close the Prometheus and open CMD in the same directory where Prometheus is extracted and uh, Let's write a command which is going to give us a desired results and uh, we will able to post promises on custom URL. So I will write this query in description so you can copy and paste. So. So you can see our server is started uh, on same port and using same configuration file. Let's see it is working or not. Yeah, it is working. Let's check the targets also uh, that it is working or not. So you can see target is not working because it's getting uh, data from slash matrix but we changed the URL so we need to do some changes in our configuration file so you can see that uh, this is the configuration for uh, Prometheus and uh, so we need to add a uh, parameter here uh, initially it was uh, getting data at slash matrices so we don't need to define it but now as the URL is changed so we need to add a uh, parameter here that uh, slash Prometheus slash matrix So this is how we are going to define the path uh, with using uh, key uh, matrix path and uh, giving it a value uh, slash mat slash prometheus slash matrix. Initially it was slash matrix so you define or not define it doesn't matter but if you change the URL you need to update it also so slash prometheus slash matrix. So we now updated the configuration file and uh, let's restart the Prometheus. So we are going to close it and then again uh, typing the same command and restarting it. So now let's check that it's working or not. So you can see that uh, target is updated but status is unknown. Uh, maybe there is some delay but uh, you can uh, check it again and uh, Let's go to the URL, see we have data or not. Yes, so we have data, all the data that is getting, but uh, maybe this take time to get updated status. So this is the area where we type queries to get data. So let's type a query from Mithya's uh, build info and get uh, information regarding build, from Mithya's build. So you can see we have data here and uh, it's giving us data and version is 2.19 and values 1. So you can also see graph. So if your uh, data has many values then it can be converted into graph. 
so i think this is the end of the session and uh, for more information you can explore uh, prometheus official doc documentation you can get uh, all type of information here for your configuration on different uh, environments if you have any type of query please uh, write in the comments i'll resolve it thank you mm -hmm.